In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated football scorecard template in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've added this particular design uh, from the internet which I have downloaded the image. You can replace the image with any of your images and then when I click, you can see here the light started blinking and when I click, it will show me the scorecard here. It will show me the time, the half time is over and then you can put the team name here and the number of goals and below you can add some statistics like goal shots on target corners fouls yellow card and the ball position so you depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the statistics or you can change the color and if you're not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code you can support my channel with the help of paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i am going to copy one image which i have downloaded from the internet or you can use any image uh, similar like this if it is available from your local pc so now just take this image and cover it with the whole slide you can see here it looks something like this now i'm going to give some the lighting effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give this as a gradient fill so select the gradient fill here i'm going to use two st three stops uh, first stop i'm going to use the color use the eyedropper i'm going to use the same color you can see this turquoise color the second one also i'm going to use the same color the turquoise and the third also the turquoise color now what i'm going to do is uh, the third stop you need to select the transparency and make it fully transparent to 100 percent the second one also you have to make or transparent a little bit reduce the size all right and put it like this and if you want you can make it somewhat a soft adjust for that go to the effects go to the soft adjust and increase the size so it looks something like this and i'm going to put it here okay all right so and then i'm going to give some animation effect to it so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and the add animation i'm going to make it you can go to the more emphasis effects and i can give either pulse or a blink effect or whichever we feel better if i give pulse it will give something like this click ok double click this one timings make it very fast or fast up to you and then make it until end of the slide and click ok so it comes like this for example if i play it comes like this you can see here all right so now i'm just going to select this one and put it here press ctrl d like this i'm going to add few more if you want you can just reduce the size a little bit adjust it accordingly and i'm going to press ctrl d I'm going to add the other side on top of this lights. You can see here, press Ctrl D again. I'm going to add it here. Again, rotate it. All right. Press Ctrl D again. You can add one more here. Again, rotate a little bit. All right. And then all these things, I'm going to make this as with previous okay or you can just select this one make it with previous and then you can just adjust the delays here okay i don't want all that should come at same time it should come one after the other okay so it looks something like this let me just show you now if i play you can see here it comes like this all right if i just show you here you can see here it comes like this so the more light effect you use it looks much better all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the scoreboard for that first go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black and you can make it a somewhat curved shape here so it looks something like this all right and then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the width increase the height a little bit and i'm going to put exactly like this in the center okay and make sure that everything is in the center 
all right then i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d and this one i'm going to give some uh a steel or a gradient look okay for that let me just go to the format shape select the gradient fill i don't need this one so i'm going to use kind of a different color combination i'm going to use some gray color in the center i'm going to use some white and again here i'm going to use some gray color okay again if you want to add few more stops you can just add it so it looks like this all right and then reduce the height and put it in the center reduce the width also and then send this to back so it looks something like this okay this is the place where our uh, the team's name will come so let me just reduce the size a little bit so that i need to add some uh, the scorecard or the number of goals here so let me just reduce or you can increase this one which of you feel better okay and then i'm just going to add one more shape go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the rectangle top corner rounded draw make it like this make it somewhat curve from the top and i'm going to use the same effect so select this one go to the home uh format painter and click it here okay and then i can just reduce the size and i'm going to put it here this is the place where the time will come all right so once this is done so let me just add some uh, text to it so go to insert text box first of all i'm going to say team name here okay if you want you can make it bold and you can add your team name here hold the control shift key add towards the left side and then i'm going to insert again text box here i'm going to add the goals number of goals maybe one i'm going to make it and i can use the same turquoise color make it bold increase the size and you can use it the color depending on your requirement so i'm just going to use this turquoise color and here maybe the goals are zero here all right and then insert text box here i'm going to put the time say time is the 45 minutes the first half is over make it white center align bold increase the size let me just put zero zero all right so it looks something like this clear so once this is done we need to add the statistics below so one more thing which i need to add the text here which is the time so let me just put one more text box called time again center align put it here in the center again if you want to make it bold you can make it bold so now what i'm going to do is whatever the objects which i have just created for the scoreboard by dragging the mouse like this i'm going to select this one and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes it becomes one group you can see here. sorry it becomes one group let me just uh, drag this one okay and wherever i want i can place it so let me just place it here make it a uh, full size then go to insert table i'm going to add uh, three columns and maybe uh, seven rows okay and then click here bring it down reduce the width you can see here if you want you can increase the height and then i'm going to select all these shapes okay header row i'm going to remove that one and you can remove the borders also make it no borders here so it looks like this and the first one i'm going to make it a merge shape so go to the layout and you can see here the merge cells here and then you have to just click this one which is the alignment of the text so i'm going to select the center one and this one and the font i need a black font okay here i'm going to type statistics hopefully the spelling is right if not you have to change it okay and then here you can see here this area and this area where i'm going to write the uh, the scores and here this area i'm going to type about the the goals and the, the corners and all those things so again i'm going to select this one go to the layout and select the center aligned all right again the font to be black 
and if you want you can change it to white also and before that one it's better to change the colors of this one so first of all i'm going to select this one go to the layout or go to the table design shading you can give some dark color here and here i'm going to give some different color so let me just select this one okay i can just give uh, somewhat maybe this color here also i'm going to give the same for every alternate rows i'm going to give this one and here i'm going to give somewhat lighter color okay so here you can see here i have used some light color here all right done now select all these things and make it somewhat transparent okay so that the back side is visible and you can just choose the color as the font color as white now here i'm going to type goals okay and then what else we have used here goals shots on target shot on target all right all the different text you can just uh, label i can just say three label four label five and label six okay whatever you want you can just replace the text with your own text there okay and then here i'm going to say this also again i'm going to make it center align here also i'm going to make it center align all right so here i'm going to say goal one say three some two one zero and say this is the percentage the ball position percentage maybe 60 percent and the same thing goes here i can make it zero and i can put some different numbers here based on the statistics and i can say 40 percent here all right so you can see here this now i'm going to select this one and send this to back so go to the layout and send this to back all right and if it is not visible you have to just bring it somewhat down okay now statistics also visible and you can uh, you have added the statistics all the statistics here now let's do some uh, basic uh, animation effects so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to give a kind of a random bars so it looks something like this click ok when you want this should click on click or it should if you want after previous or with previous it's up to you and this one again add animation more entrance effects i'm going to give say some kind of a, a strips and click ok and this should happen after previous so if i play now you can see here the light started you know blinking and then when i click it comes like this so the time you can add your team name number of goals and then you can add the different statistics here 